there's definitely a, a real sense of excitement because nothing like this has ever been done before. So many aspects of Ramadan were going to be canceled because people can't go to the mosque, they can't congregate, and so we started the competition. The Ramadan Lights competition is the first annual competition of its kind where we're giving awards for the best decorated homes during the month of Ramadan. This is not a typical tradition. Lights aren't anything particularly unique to Islam. Often the homes do look like they're decorated for Christmas. I think if you were to drive by, say for the fact that you're seeing these homes in uh, April and May versus December, uh, is probably one of the only differences. Now, some of the unique things that you might see are some of the symbolism. So the symbol of Islam being the crescent moon and star. One of the things that we've seen recently is crescent-shaped trees that people are installing in their homes and decorating with Ramadan ornaments. So we're reappropriating an appropriated symbol from Christmas. We're borrowing a lot of the same themes. The reaction to the competition has been really positive, uh, both from within the Muslim community and also from outside of it too, because lights bring joy. So we wanted to create something visual that people can see from the safety of their homes. Uh, it really brings families together right now, and we're definitely seeing some really elaborate uh, setups. Neighbors are starting to link their homes together. So you see lights connected over driveways, and it's a really beautiful show of unity. We're hoping that this becomes a tradition around the country that Muslim communities will start celebrating all over the nation.